I hope that everybody had a terrific week. This second week of Shovavim, Parshas Vaira. Before Moshe and Hashem smite Paro with Damakos, Moshe gives one last argument to why he shouldn't be the messenger that's going to lead B'nai Yisrael. Moshe says, Hain B'nai Yisrael lo shamu elai. B'nai Yisrael already hadn't listened to him. They don't believe that he could take the people out. V'yech yishma'ini faro v'ani arasa v'sayim. And how will it be when Paro will listen and he is a arasa v'sayim, a closed-mouthed person? So Rashi brings down that this is one of the Kalva Chomers in the Torah. That if B'nai Yisrael, who Moshe is trying to save, already doesn't believe that Moshe could save them, so then Kalva Chomer, how much more so, Paro is not going to believe him. But there are two other ways of interpreting this Pasuk that I've heard over the past number of years. I heard from Rev. Herschel Schachter, Zecher Tzadik Devracha, the father of one of my Rabbeim, Rev. J.J. Schachter, he said, the eich, how will it look, Yishma Eni Faro? That Moshe had no doubt that Pyro was going to have to listen. Moshe had no doubt that Hashem was going to take the people out. But Moshe was worried that once B'nai Yisrael were so downtrodden, they were so beaten, that they didn't believe that Moshe could take them. So how will it look if Pyro the Rasha, the one who says, I don't know this Hashem that you're talking about, how will it look if he listens to what Moshe is saying. The Svas Emes writes another pshat. Not necessarily that it's a Kava Chomer, but rather it teaches us an important yesod, an important principle about Jewish leadership. The Svas Emes writes that the power of a Jewish leader only comes from the people that he is leading. If the people don't support the, the leader, if the people don't believe in the leader, so then the leader has no power. I've heard some people interpret this as a notion of confidence, that if the people, if the Jewish people don't believe in their Rebbe, if they don't believe in their leader, so then the leader won't have confidence, let's say in this case, to go to Paro and be able to present the arguments that are necessary to take the B'nai Yisrael out. But I don't think that it's a notion of confidence. I think it's a notion of creativity, of presentation, of convincing power that the leader is going to have. If B'nai Yisrael are behind their Rebbe, their leader, so then the leader will be able to convince anybody of anything. If B'nai Yisrael aren't behind their leader, so then that support won't allow the leader to come up with the argument or maybe the necessary chain to convince whoever it is of what needs to be convinced of. So here Moshe was saying, Hain B'nai Yisrael lo shumu elai. B'nai Yisrael doesn't believe in me. V'eich, how is it possible? So then how in the world is it going to happen that Yishma'ini Pyro, the Pyro is going to listen? If I don't have the support of the people, then I have nothing at all. Moshe knew very clearly that his power generated from the people. V'ani aral sevasayim. On top of that, Moshe said, I'm a closed-mouthed person. It's an important lesson when we deal with our leaders. It's not just a matter of respect that somebody who sacrificed, given up his time to lead and to shepherd the Jewish people, so we should respect them, but rather we need to believe that that the, the Rebbe, the leader, his kochos, come from the very emuna that the congregants, that the people are giving to that leader. Rav Levi was known to have a long Shmon Esrei. As the defender of the Jewish people, he davened for a long time, asking Hashem to bring bracha to the Jewish people. So much so, that in a particular instance, on Friday afternoon, when Shabbos was early, and in the Ukraine you can imagine that Shabbos came in really early, so it was a little bit challenging, because the ten people that had to daven mincha on Friday afternoon with Rav Levi Yitzchak, so... They were away from home on Erev Shabbos for an extended period of time when that's not so great for Shalom Bayez. So one of them concocted a plan and said, listen, Reb Levi Yitzchak David Shimon Esrei for an hour and a half. Let's do our Shimon Esrei. Let's bail out, go home, bathe the kids, help the wife clean for Shabbos. And then at about, let's say, the hour 18 mark or something, we'll all come back in. There'll be at least 10 minutes of grace uh, that we have to be in the base marriage until he finishes. 
and nobody will be the wiser. We'll help. We'll help our families, and then everybody wins. So the, everybody thought it was a great plan. The nine guys that made up Rebbe Yitzchak's Friday afternoon mincha minyan, they they went home after they finished their Shmona Esri, and they all came back in due time. However, to their surprise, Rebbe Yitzchak was all, was already finished Shmona Esri, and he said to them, "Do you think?" That when I go to the Shemei Hashemayim, when I get right up to the Kisei I covered in my Shemot Esrei, I do it on my own merit? No chance. I stand on the shoulders of you. I stand on the shoulders of the people. The only reason that I have any Knisa, that I have any in- entrance into HaKadosh Baruch Hu's inner sanctum is only in your Zuchus and only by your power. So when you guys left, I knew that there was something. I didn't feel it. I knew there was something wrong. I couldn't get into the place where I normally go to, and then Shimon Esrei, I figured I might as well, I might as well finish. So we need to realize as people, we need to realize the strength that we give our Abayim, and that the, the power of the leadership of the Jewish people stems from the people, not from the leader himself. Yeratzom of Nevinu Shabbat Shemayim HaKadosh Baruch should appoint the appropriate leaders who know how to lead the people to garner their support, because after all, that's the only place where their leadership is going to come from. Have a great Shabbos.